Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to measure, cut out, and get a water damage ceiling ready for a new piece of drywall. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm gonna leave a direct link to my last video where I showed you how to build a DIY dust containment bubble to control all the dust from the repair. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just cut out a section where I can get a flashlight up there and see what's going on, see if there's any wires see if there's what's rotted what's not this is pretty solid so i'm not sure you know how much needs to come out but i'm just going to make a hole and assess it and go from there i'm just going to go real shallow not much thicker than the half inch or five inch drywall that way i don't hit any if there is anything up there i don't want to poke it let me know in the comments if you're a DIYer, contractor, painter. Just kind of curious. It's probably going to go about 12 by 12. Seems pretty solid. Again, I'm going real shallow, so I'm not really going to cut into anything, duct work or anything like that. It's crucial not to. Back, just peeled off of some of the other. Definitely need to replace that drywall. So there's this uh, furring strip in the ceiling right, right about here, and there's one over here. So I measured from the center of each furring strip, which is 16 on center, which is a normal measurement. So. I'm pretty confident there's another fern strip 16 inches over here. So probably gonna have a 36 inch by just gonna go out to where the the water stain stopped. 33 inches. And 36, 33. This is my guess. So the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of remove some of this garbage and cut the tape that's in the angle or in the corner. Just going right along, right in the corner. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more of these type of videos. We're going to try and not go down on the wall. If I just pull out the corner tape, you're going to have this much on the wall. So that's scored. I'm going to get some measurements on the wall here and then square this up with a level. All right, so on the cutout, I wasn't sure if this is going to be a 5 8 inch drywall ceiling or half inch, but 
Once I get it cut out, I can tell for sure it's a half inch drywall just by the width. If it was five eighths, it'd be thicker and more obvious, but you can always measure it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark where I wanna go to. There's a furring strip right here. And what I could also do is take my keyhole saw and make a mark right next to it and then measure over. So this right here is the edge. So I'm right on the money with that mark. So I'm gonna carry that mark through over to the wall and right up here where I know I'm gonna cut. So I'm gonna do the same over here on this side. I made the mark here, just guesstimating, so now I can know for sure I'm gonna go shallow. And there's the edge of, so actually I can go over a little bit for my final measurement. Let me know in the comments what kind of drywall project you're working on. So I'm gonna eyeball that onto the wall here, or right next to the wall. I have some room to play with with the fern strips. So it uh, doesn't have to be exact, but it's nice to know exactly where the framing member is. So we're going to want to come out from the wall, I'd say 32 inches. Make a mark there. Then I'll make a mark over by my measurement, 32. I'll do one more over here. Then I'll take my level and level it up. Just like connecting the dots. When I'm straight on, I can see better where the marks need to be. So I'm just going to compensate. All right, so that'll be my final measurement. So I switched out from my uh, step ladder to using the work platform. Just have better lap leverage for this with me, but the ladder would still work. What I'm going to have to do is use a razor knife to cut where the furring strips are because I cannot use the keyhole saw. But I will be able to use the keyhole saw over here on this line. Just I won't be able to cut through wherever there's that furring strip right here. 
hopefully there's no screws or nails in this area. It'll dull the blade. Basically, you just want to follow the line and keep going over it. If you're working on a ceiling, you always want to wear your safety glasses and stuff like this, a mask. Now it's starting to pull easier, so I know I'm pretty much all the way through. Helps to have a nice sharp blade. And again, I already did score along this corner. Do it one more time, just in case. All right, gonna just follow the line again like I did over at the same spot, the other side. I can feel that's gone all the way through. Score it right here. So I'm not going to be able to poke through the furring strip. I'll just go on the outside and then I can cut at an angle. Gonna go shallow because there was wires not in the way, but they're still in the vicinity. Going at an angle, hitting that burn strip, but I, I can still cut it. Alright, so I should be able just to pop it loose from this hole and carry it all the way through. Back doesn't look too bad. Kind of hold it, rip it, and try to pull it down.
We can concentrate it with the leaf was. Leave me a hashtag drywall tube if you've made it this far in the video. As you can see, there is wires, just not where I was cutting. They kept them above that, which is good. But you never know what's up in the ceiling. And if you're new to the channel, my name's Paul, and I've been a drywall and painting contractor for over 20 years. If you're looking to step up your drywall, texturing, or painting game, be sure to hit that subscribe button in the center of the screen now to keep up with all my latest videos. Look me up on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Thanks so much for watching.